G'day legends, Pokesword here. Um, welcome to the new setup. This is um, going to be my setup for um, basically just for binders at the moment um, until I can get a more secure setup with the camera. If you could see my camera right now, you'd understand that it's not the most secure setup that I have made. Nor will I want to keep it this way for too long. Now, obviously, this is not always the binders I use. Um, this is just my celebrations one. This binder is just of my uh, hit cards, as you'd say. Like, your alternate arts, your rainbows, your trainer rainbows, your full art trainers, uh, Vs, Vmaxes, trainer galleries, radiants, etc. Like that, um, of what I've got in my own collection. Yeah, I've had a few people in live streams and in comments on one of the videos of, um, that they'd be interested in seeing collections, so I thought, why not? I'll show you my collection. Now, at, um, at recording of this video, so this video is going to come out as a premiere. Um, so anyone who is watching right now, welcome to the premiere of this on my channel, of my binder. Uh, currently, as recording this, I believe I was at 770 subs, thereabouts. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time I release this, it'll be above 800, if I am. Thank you to everyone who got me over 800. If not, if we're not there at the time of the release of this, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe. Let's get us to 800. But I believe by the time I do release this, I should be at 800. Fingers crossed. Now, I've never had, obviously, the camera from above before, so this is all weird. Don't know what to expect. Hopefully, it comes out all right, um, but we'll find out, see how we go. Now, I do have other binders as well, so if you do enjoy this, leave a comment. Even if you are in the premiere, um, after the premiere, jump in the comment section, leave a comment. It helps the channel grow as well, um, and yeah. So, we can crack straight into this one. With, so, yeah, like I was saying before, I do not normally have my best cards as such, or any of my cards in these type of binders anymore. Uh, most of my cards have all gone into Palms Off Gaming branded folders. So, it's an Australian company. So Palms Off Gaming, these are the sleeves. They also sell binders, which are zips. So not like these ones, these are, this is an elastic one. Um, they come with a zip binder. They come in uh, four, uh, four, nine and 12 um, side insert binders. Australian company, so anyone who is watching, I will leave a description, uh, the link in the description for you guys, so you guys can jump over to, to Palms Off Gaming. I am working with them at the moment to try and get a discount code for anyone in Australia to use. Bear with me with that. When that happens, you'll be first to know. Put the bind uh, the sleeves on the side. Alrighty, let's have a look at what we've got here. Now I've got to try and make sure I don't knock over the camera. So this is the start off my um, alternate art page. Um, at this stage, it is only one page of alternate arts. As you can see, we've got the um, new VMAX from Fusion Strike. They're not in really any order at the moment. So you've got a Mew, and you've got a Mew down here as well. They're just all over the place. I haven't really had much time to organize them. I've just been chucking in folders as I go. Um, you probably will see. If not, you've already seen them because I've put shorts up of these being opened. Um, I've actually got two of the Genesex. So I got one I pulled, and then I got one from Dark Echo Gaming. Um, incorrect, sorry. Pokey Chit, sorry. It was from a pokey chip stream. So, other than that, what have we got here? We've got the Celebi. We've also got the Arceus Diago Palkia. That came in my Arceus figure collection box. In the first Cosmic Eclipse pack I opened. Um, that's the actual first pack I'd ever opened of Cosmic Eclipse. Bear with me two seconds. Let me just change the background music. Don't know what's going on with that. 
Um, so like I said, this is only the only page I've got so far. Um, if there is cards that you want closer looks at, all of these have all got a short somewhere on my channel. So I can definitely pull, um, show you, send you links to those. Um, if not, ch scan my channel for them, you'll find them. Uh, this, my favourite out of these would have to be, would have to be the Muse of Like That is, the colours in that are just nuts. I don't know about anyone else, but like, if you just look at that. Oh, that's just an awesome looking card. Um, but I don't know about you guys, like, obviously this is going to be Premiere, so let me know in, in the chat with the Premiere what you guys think, or what your favourite card is out of, say, those nine that are sat there. But I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the Conclador, or Conclador, however you want to pronounce it, as an alternate art. It, just, it doesn't have the same vibe as all of those ones. Um, but still, it's something, it's still technically an alternate art. And then obviously I've got a blank page for now because I'll see, I'm hoping for more alternate arts. I do have the requires, requires a, whoop, requires a VMAX alternate art from Evolving Skies come in. So then we've also got, on these ones here, so we've got the Glacium VMAX, requires a VMAX. I'm not going to list every single one, you can see them all guys. Um, still going up like these are all seen like rainbow Pokemon, then rainbow trainers, etc. Like that. Um, I'm just a fan of rainbows, they didn't maybe not the early day, earlier ones, but like nowadays when you go into the V star rainbows, they're starting to look really, really good. It's just so much shine to them. Then we've got the Chandelure V Max, which I pulled only just pulled recently. Um, and then we're going into train, uh, Trainer Rainbows, which would have to be my favourite. I think it, I believe it's Lady. From Lost Abyss. This is Japanese equivalent to what's in Lost Origin. But just like, look at the flowers and crazy designs and everything in the background of this rainbow. Like, that's nuts. Just how they can do that. Whereas I haven't, unfortunately I haven't pulled the English version of it yet. So I can't really compare them side by side. But if anything was similar. Uh, what's an Astral Radiance one? Uh, there's only a set behind it. And there's, there's nothing really crazy in the background. Like the Japanese one had in Lost Abyss at least. And then obviously... Not complete yet, so we've got more room for more rainbow trainers if we can get them. Then we go into full art trainers um, that I've collected along the way from different various different sets, and then obviously some promos as well. Obviously, being these two down the bottom. Uh, oh, actually, no, my mistake. Only the professor's research is the promo for the Juniper collection box. Everything else is from a set of some sort. Um, if I go off pages, so we went alternate art, and then we went rainbow, and I've had favourites on there. If I would have to go anything that was favourite, hmm, I do like the artwork on the the Juniper, like Professor Juniper, but either like Caitlin at the top top right hand corner here, do like a Caitlin card, or maybe even just like the Professor's research from. Celebrations, just like they just didn't seem like they cared too much. Like it went over the borders, the name was across the head. Like I don't know if I like that or not. Like if they meant that, then yeah, it's a really good card. If they didn't, maybe I don't like it as much. Um, yeah, I'm torn between it. Um, I believe we actually have. We do have three others on the other side. We've got some from Chilling Rain and then Astro Radiance. And then we've got a uh, page of gold. Now I do obviously have... Like these, these can also be doubles. Because I do have a binder for um, Celebrations, Pokemon Go, 
brilliant stars, and I actually do have an Evolving Skies, but I don't have a whole lot in the Evolving Skies, and some of them are actually in here, because I was unsure whether or not I wanted to finish that collection. Um, but as you can see, obviously I've got a couple from Chil another few from Chilling Rain and Gold, the Evolving Skies Energy, it's probably, it's probably close to being one of my favourite, but even like Gold Stars and uh, Gold Cards and Rainbow Cards, if you haven't heard on my streams, like, or any of my videos, the type of cards I love. Um, and then we go into Full Arts. Now, I may be incorrect here for having the Luminium V on this page. I think in Brilliant Stars they do classify it as an alternate art. Um, doesn't, depends where you read it. Some people say it's just a full art, but it looks nothing like the rest of these full arts. And then some people say it's an alternate art. I think it is. I might have it in the wrong spot in this binder. But I think it still fits quite well-ish on the pages. Um, then we go into stuff like the, the Alakazam V. It's probably one of my, it's one of my favourites um, of the full art variant of cards. I do like the Blissies. Just Blissies in general I like as a card. And this Cleavor V, unfortunately, and same with like Lucario V, they were hard done by that they weren't put in sets and they were only bought out as a promo because in Japanese, they came out in Japanese sets. Um, so it's like, I don't know, that could be something more unique about them because they didn't obviously get pushed over to an English set and all they got was a promo. Um, but then obviously, when they're in a Japanese set, sometimes they just look 10 times better than sometimes the English produced them. And then we've just, uh, on the right hand side of this page, I think the Articuno, the Gla Gla Galarian Articuno V would have to be my favourite on that page. Um, if I'm going to like go page by page, but all, all over would have to be the Alakazam V, which at the top of my head was from Vivid Voltage. When I got back into collecting, I went absolutely nuts on collecting heaps of cards so this is basically bought in australia you had to just buy packs whatever packs you could get whenever you could so i just bought packs wherever i could see them and ended up having like collection after collection after collection of like chilling rain um darkness ablaze vivid voltage uh, evolving skies i went into battle styles i had rebel clash sword shield base <laughs> i had all like Anything I could get hands on, I tried to collect the set, and then I realised that's a very expensive game to get into. And then I've got my lonely little Charizard page started up. Just trying to centre that one as best as I can. And like I did say before, some of these are doubles because I've got them in sets. Oh, my voice ran out there. In sets. So I've got the Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go. Uh, I've got the Reshiram Charizard box that came out. Now I do have the, obviously, the Charizard from Vivid Voltage in a Reverse Holo and the one that came with the Trainer Battle deck, I believe it's called. Um, so the only difference is that, and the only way you could have got this one was the Cracked Ice variant of it, was from the build, it's like the Battle decks. Like they come 60 cards pre built deck, so you can obviously start fighting with it straight away. But as you can see, like you can just see that pattern on there. Sorry about the light. You can see that, like, crack as they call it, the cracked ice pattern. So that's one variant of that card that there was only one way to get it. You couldn't pull that from a pack, um, which I think is pretty cool, and that's why it stays in a binder. Some people might look at that and go, Oh, it's just a rare rare hollow but no it's not it is actually something different to your regular rare rare, rare hollow um and then see so your promo from is it from i think was it from champion's path that charizard um if i am incorrect please let me know in the comments either after the video if you watch it back or during the premiere guys yeah just like really help you out with that one and then we go into a whole set of VMAX cards. Um, now you'll see, looking at some of these, 
that you've got like, they maybe look like there's doubles on the camera, but that's because I've got the English variant and the Japanese variant next to each other. I don't believe on this page I do, but I think later on in the album I do, or in the binder I should say, I do have different um, English and Japanese next to each other. Uh, so, obviously you've got Celebrations, VMAXs, and then we go into a few other VMAXs throughout the whole binder. That Sylveon is a wicked looking card, but I would have to stick with the Flying and the Surfing Pikachu VMAXs as favourite cards out of this whole page here. Glaceon's close, but nothing goes past old Chunky over there. <laughs> as I'm going through these pages, guys, if you are in that premiere, feel free to like when I'm going through pages. Like I'll be in the chat anyway, once it's premieres. Um, yeah, when just let me know like what what type of cards you like, like what type of cards on the on the pages you like. Let me, let us know in the live chat, or if you watch it back later, check in the comments. I'm happy I'm happy to read your comments. I love reading comments, so and I try to reply to them as well. If there's questions, I try and reply to them for you guys. Um, and then we go into like a I believe that is a base set sword and shield Snorlax over here. That came in a Snorlax box, collection box anyway. But you can pull that from the pack. I know Mr. Babooth is a Western Australian streamer, so based in Australia, on the West Coast. Um, he really wants his card. Mate, if I had a second one, I would give you it. Unfortunately, I don't, so hopefully you can pull one. If I manage to get Sword and Shield base again, I will try and pull you it. Um, that being said, guys, I will have a. Um, I do have links and descriptions to other YouTubers. If you're not, if you want to, or you can, um, check them out. If you haven't subscribed to them yet, uh, check their channels out. If you like their content, yeah, go ahead, please subscribe to their channels. Like, let's just support the Pokemon community all around on YouTube. Oop, missed the thing again on YouTube. Um. And then you've got your Shining Fate promos here, Shining Fate EV promo as well. Now these Venusaur and Blastoise cards are pretty wicked. They came from a promo box as well. So it's actually quite surprising when I'm looking through... Oops, sorry. When I'm looking through this, I do see a lot more... Um, what should you call it? Cards from the Bulbin Skies that I didn't believe or didn't know I had. But on you got all my... V cards, so some would be promos, some would be others. If you are watching this or you do look back at all, Dark Echo Gaming, shout out to you, mate. Who is the lovely double that you love to hate, mate? <laughs> but same, another cha channel, another channel shout out, guys. Dark Echo Gaming, I'm sure you should all be subscribed to him. If you're not, please check out his channel. Awesome giveaways, does it a lot, so much for the community. So yeah, please check him out. And then we go on to more V cards. So V cards, some people love them, some people don't. I think they're pretty cool. Sometimes this is you get some V cards and go, mm, no, nah, they're rubbish. <laughs> but I've got, obviously you can see the Rapid Strike um, Urshifu V and the Shadow Rider Calyrex, both in English and then side by side in Japanese. Uh, colors are a little bit darker on the Japanese, especially the Shadow Rider. I think the Shadow Rider in Japanese is a little bit darker than the English. I don't know if... Is the camera doing me any justice on that? Maybe. If it doesn't, it's just... Maybe it's just my eyes that make it look like that. So like I said at the start of the video, guys, I'm quite new to this whole above view camera. So it's good. it takes a bit of use, getting used to where the lens is and everything. Now this has been thrown in here because I pulled this from a pack. And how how big is that like scratch along the front of the card? Now this came fresh out of a pack and that is just a massive like I don't know if it's a print line or it's a it's a scratch. Like it's there's depth to that. Like look at the size of that. There is some serious depth to that scratch in the card. So 
So I don't even know how that had happened in a factory when they've made that card. But it's something I've thought, yep, I'm keeping. I could probably just um, put it in a, like in a top logo and put a different one there, but I think it looks cool in this album. Um, one thing you realize when you open a lot of cards and a lot of packs, you get a lot of these. Well, eventually you do. So there is a lot of these built up in this folder. Now I do have the Giratina V and the Aerodactyl V from Lost Abyss, which is the equivalent to Lost Origins in English form. I do have those cards in English, I'm not sure where they are. Otherwise I put them side by side. Uh, might be over this side. Yeah, they are. I haven't put them in there yet, but they don't look any different, guys, so that would be them there. That would be those ones there. Nothing too crazy that jumps out in these cards at the moment. But I go, oh, I love that card. You got Dragonite from Pokemon Go. Going into like Ice Rider Calyrax. I could move these, but I would spend so much time going backwards and forwards if I started changing all the order of these cards just because they're the same or they're associated with that, like Shadow Rider and Ice Rider. And you've got all the different like Dragonites. I try to do it, and then yeah, now it just is too much shuffling. Uh, we go into our Glaring Moltres V. That's a very nice card. Um, I've got three, three legendary birds all along the top. The Snorlax in this bottom left corner. Um, that's the one that came in the promo box with the Snorlax V Max. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, V V cards don't have the huge wazam to them. Like, whoa, look at these cards. Like these V's here with like the shinies. I possibly could move those ones. Um, move them to a different part of the binder because they're almost like a full art shiny um, but because it was from Shiny Fates promos they'd probably classify them as something a little bit different but like I said yeah there's another Dragonite over here um, and like Executor and I think I had another Executor somewhere else at the front of the binder um, and then some of the newest cards that I've got like the Infernate V that comes in the Infernate V collection box a couple extra promos from RCS V um, collection, premium collection box and then because I get so many V's I've left a lot of room for them uh, and then I've only got a, like a small amount of V-Star cards at the moment um, I think I might have a couple to add to it I do I do, I do, I do I've got the Guja, the Hishuan Gudra V Star from Lost Origins to go in there. This was something I wasn't thinking about doing. Oh, and sorry, and the Drapion V Star from Lost Origins as well. I wasn't thinking about filling my album while I'm trying to record this, but um, if I do, then yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to think about what cards I've got while I'm doing this at the same time. Then we go into Trainer Gallery Guides. Now, I really, I don't know about anyone else, but I really love Drainer Gallery cards. I think they look awesome. Uh, like I said, up here, you can see the difference of the Aridos Trader Galleries between Japanese and English. Um, I also have it in hmm, the Oct Octillery down here. I have it in English. I don't know where it is, so that's why it's been left blank. And I keep looking for it, and I can't find it anywhere in my set. So, it's, it's going to be somewhere. Where that somewhere is, I don't know. I'm just looking through my bulk net, like some of my recent polls, and I still cannot find it. So where it is, it'll rock up the sale stage. I feel like I pulled it recently as well, but that'll be going there um, to add into that one. But some of the, yeah, like I'm saying these trainer go cards are crazy. My favourite on this would have to be the Sylveon V Star, uh, V Max. Sorry, I get them mixed up. V Stars and V Maxes now. Like, that's just crazy. And 
And it's fairly well centered too. So that's one I'll be keeping back there. Um, I've already got one in my Brilliant Stars binder, which I can show later. If people would be interested in it, please let me know. Um, whether whether in, your, in the premiere, just put it in the live chat. If you're in the rewatch gang, um, chuck it in the comments whether or not you'd like to see something like that on the channel still. Like, binder videos are pretty cool just to see what other Poketubers and all just collectors in general have in their collections. Now, these are my Radiance. My, my plan is to collect every Radiant possible that's been released Sword and Shield era be beyond. So everything was like, oh, not like all the OG Radiants because I haven't got money for that. <laughs> that's That would be an expensive thing to do. So I believe the first Radiants came out with Astral Radiance. So then they went Astral Radiance, Lost Origins. Um, and obviously Pokemon Go had some as well. So that's my idea is Astral Radiance and beyond. I'm going to be trying to collect, if I can, all the Radiance, and then as an extra step, if I can get the, all the Radiance, including the Japanese, because I think the Japanese look so much more better, like so much more nicer, and I think they look great side by side in a binder. So that that is my goal. Um, I do have quite a few other Radiance that I have not added to the binder yet. Um, as you can see, I've got three heat heat trans. I think I've got yeah. I've got two Haluchas, I've got another one. There's probably no point putting in this binder, I don't need that many. I've got two Greninjas, Radiant Eevee. Um, did pull the Steelix from Lost Origin. Um, I've got the Radiant, all the, oh, no, I do not have all the Radiants. At the time of this re recording of this video, I do not have all the Radiants from the Pokemon Go. I'm still chasing that Blastoise. It is trolling me every time I open packs. I cannot manage to pull it. I've pulled the Radiant Zard, I've pulled the Radiant Venusaur, but I can't for some reason pull the Blastoise. I did pull it in Japanese. And like, look at, have a look at that. That's, that's nuts. Like that Radiant pattern is crazy. So technically that was my first Radiant card I pulled. Um, Cause it took my time to get into Astral Radiance when they brought them out. So yeah, Japanese, Japanese came through the goods, but ever since that, I can't pull it in English. So fingers crossed, soon I'll be able to get it. If not, to make it cheaper, I probably would just have to buy it because it's not an expensive card. Pokemon Go isn't an expensive set either, so that's good. Um, a few more extras I've got is like the Amazing Rares, the Raikou and the Zacian. These are really cool cards. Um, I believe they did them in Vivid Voltage. There may have... Oh, no, it comes from this side. There may have been another set, but did it? Oh, look at the colours. Like, even just go over the borders and all that. Like, that's, that's nuts. I love that. There may have been other car, other sets that may have done it, but I can't recall them. I do have... like These are my extras of... Uh, the, what are they called in... Oh... What's that second collection called in Celebrations? What's on the tip of my tongue? Classic collection, that's it. The classic collection from Pokemon Go. Uh, <laughs> classic collection from Celebrations, sorry. I've got Pokemon Go on my mind at the moment, trying to get that Radiant Blastoise, because I can see it here in, <laughs> in Celebrations. Now, I, could pull, I pulled them like crazy. And I think they look cool. Like, no offence to Charizard lovers out there, but the Blastoise and that Venusaur look nuts. They look great. Um, my favourite card would actually be this Refuram though. The classic collection version of the black and white um, sets. They like they're nuts. They're nuts. At, like how much like little reflection shine you get off that card. It's crazy. The Gyarados is pretty cool too. But yeah. If anything, it's the Blastoise Venusaur, followed by Reshiram. Uh, and Zekron, yeah, is up there too. And then just this is the little overflow of what I've got in Pokemon Go. And bloop, celebration. Again, I've made that mistake. <laughs> Bear with me, I will fix that sometime. 
And then I've got a couple of GX cards, not too many. Um, I did pull this one from a Crimson Invasion pack. And then like your Gyarados and your Raichu GX are both from Hidden Fate collection tins. So Sun and Moon era. And then going quickly back. Oop, you will see the Charizard. And then the Charizard GX was here. I just put it on the Charizard page. Now I do believe it is time to add this beauty. Add that little beauty there. Another Charizard card to go to the collection. Don't mind that. If you can hear that in the background, that is my chair making that creaking noise. There is no funky noises coming from my rear end. That is not that. <laughs> Trust me, it is just a squeaky office or creaky office chair. Now, I don't believe. Now, I will, because I think it's classified as an alternate art. I will move that. Um through to the alternate art page, which will be on the back side of this page. And I've said it before, guys, I thank you for everyone who has supported the channel and got us as far as we are. Um, I did say at the start, um, I either will be releasing this prior to 800 subs or after 800 subs, regardless if I'm there or not. Thank you, everyone who's got me there. Um, if you haven't already, guys, please hit that like button. Or as I say on live streams, smash that like button. Not too hard though. Let everyone else use it. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. Uh, even if you're in the live premiere, please consider hitting that. Um, please consider leaving a comment after. If you're in the rewatch gang, please leave a comment. Tell us what you think about the binder. Whether or not you'd like to see this in the further content of different collections I've got. Um, because I've got a few different binders and I'd love to show them off if you guys would be happy to see them. If not, let me know. I won't do it. <laughs> now I do have some Pokemon Go promos. My favourite would have to be the Team Valor Full Art Trainer card. That's my team, Team Valor. What are you guys? Even check that in, let us know. And then I've got what do I go to next? Oh, some full art cards to add in. I'm gonna go Mimikyu V. We'll go in, in that slot there. Then we've got Pidgeot V. Now, like I said, these cards, the full art cards are looking crazy good. These are all from Lost Abyss. Uh, Lost Origin, sorry, English, English form, so Lost Lost Origin. This is a Giratina V full art. Been just a little bit slack recently with putting, filling up this binder. The Gudra V. Now, I don't know about you guys, but why did Pokemon make such a sad looking Pokemon? <laughs> poor little, poor little fella. He just looks so sad. That's a horrible song. And then, like I said, you've all seen these cards. So, sorry if I just flick through them all. Now, I want to just do a shuffle here. Oh, this doesn't make any sense putting that there, but I don't want to take it off the front page. I'm going to put Tapu Koko. You know what? Tapu Koko can go right to the back. Not a huge fan of the card. And then... I know this is Trainer Gallery. Oh, should I leave it there? Nah, I have to. Okay. Tapu Coco, you've been allowed back in to the binder. I, I forgot that this this big chunk of chew is a Trainer Gallery card, not just an ordinary VMAX. Uh, pulled this live in a um, booster box opening from Lost Origin. If you haven't, guys, feel free to go check out that that opening. 
There were some really cool hits in that. Oh, I forgot to mention on this one. This Origin Form Palkia. I don't know what it is, guys. Why it's so, such quite an expensive card for a V. But people go nuts for this. <laughs> I think, I believe it must be pretty effective in the TCG at the moment until Pokemon decide to change what cards you can and can't use. Um, if you have a Palkia deck, I've been knowing that that's quite effective to use. I'll put a Mel Metal in with the Vs. To be honest, I've probably got one already. I pulled three or four in one in one opening of Pokemon Go. That's how easy that card is to pull. I don't believe I have it. Nope. And then we go into Trainer Galleries. Where are my Trainer Gallery cards? Oh no, I don't have a spot for them. <laughs> Obviously Trainer Gallery and Trainer Gallery left to go in there. And I know I'm waiting. I can. I've got a spot. I've got. A, I do have the auxiliary card to go in there, so I can't just put them there yet. I may have to just put them aside for now and fill them in later when I move them around or get a new binder. I do look, want to look at getting a twelve page, uh, twelve slot binder. So these are the nine. I do have the twelve for some of my palms off gaming binders. But yeah, like I said, this one. This one was originally for my uh, celebrations set and then i got palms off gaming binders and they are 100 times better guys like i said at the start of the stream if you guys are in australia and are looking for a good binder please check out palms off gaming because one they're great for the price so they're cheap they're one of the cheapest binder companies around or accessory companies around two their binders are probably one of the best in australia that i found um and their sleeves are cheap but they are good. And I'll tell you right now, I am not affiliated with them. I am just boosting that that brand because it is the brand I use and the brand I'd love any Australian to use. If you can get it, I don't believe they do international at the moment. But yeah, if you're in Australia, check them out, guys, because they are by far one of the best binders I've used. And I've used Ultra Pro and I've used just the basic sleeves for price. It's the way I'd go. Um, so yeah, check them out, guys. Like I said, not affiliated with them. I have been in contact with them, um, but I haven't heard anything back. Just to see whether or not they we can I can get a code for the channel um, for Australians to use to get discount on their items, and obviously that boosts their sales. Um, and, it, and it shows that people are watching my content as well. But other than that, guys, this that will conclude the video for my Pokemon hit binder. Like I said, I've got other binders, but these are, going back over the recap of those, they are the alternate arts that I own. Um, but please, if you haven't already, hit, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment after the live premiere. Um, even if you've watched the live premiere, it still helps a lot, please guys. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you all. Thank you for sticking around. It's been great to show off the binder to you guys. If you'd like to see further content of binders, let me know. Uh, I'm more than happy to show you guys those binders because, uh, it, I think it's really cool to show off my binder and I really enjoy watching others as well. So thanks guys. Tune in to the shorts, future videos, keep an eye out for lives. We're going to try and smash 1k subscribers. So if you can, share out the channel, share out the videos. Help me along the way. And hopefully we'll be there one day. Cheers, guys.